Future Hype is driving card prices up into insanity. Alright, we're going to have a discussion today, so for the 30% of you that have not smashed the crib button, that subscribe button, smash it so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. We're going to be talking about everything that's been going around in terms of all hype right now. I, we're going to talk about this, uh, Sold at a Start here. So with last night's releases, everybody has lost their mind over the fact that dinosaurs are getting some huge waves of support here. Now, you gotta ask yourself, was it expected? I expect Sold to get a reprint, but that didn't stop the ultis from getting created off the face of the planet. And I'll look more into this tomorrow on Market Watch to show like accurate representations on prices and things like that. But your first big pressured buyout, of course, had to be Sold. Like I said, when you're releasing an entire archetype that's based around level sixes, you're going to see people do some relatively dumb stuff. And I, I don't necessarily think that Solda was a terrible pickup, but if you have a Solda, you might want to sell now while the hype is generating relatively quick um, because that is definitely up there. Now, since this is a level 6 archetype, Frostosaurus, uh, what, the Megalancer, uh, any, you, a level 6 dinosaur, but specifically the Frostosaurus, the ultis got cratered. And I mean, like... I don't know why in the world people lost their mind. They were already, I believe they were 30 plus before, you know, when people first started talking about it. And then people with the deep pockets came through and they're like, an all team? Vanilla monster, heavy wheezing in the back of the room as they click commit by. And, you know, we're missing one card for, you know, the new archetype, but people, they just want to, they see vanilla monster, see, you know, the, what is it? The Rex special out here and people lose their mind on the overall potential to pick that up. And that really mind boggles me. I didn't think we would see ulti frostosaurus getting created off. Now, I do want to mention here that there is a chance to pick up the Brachio Radius. Now, you're probably like, what in the world? Robbie, you're making these cards up. No, this is a card from Legendary Collection that is a level 6 normal dinosaur. And if you know anything about how Yu-Gi-Oh! works around these days, people will look at Ready Fusion and they'll kind of lose their mind as, you know, the overall potentials to do things. And that's why I want to mention here, with all the dinosaur stuff that's been going around, Ready Fusion is one of those cards that you can basically pair with this archetype and get some kind of cool value out of. I Once again, I don't think too crazy heavily of this support stuff, but, you know, if people are kind of being like, uh, you know, I'm kind of discouraged, I mean, at least you can pick up a couple copies of the Ready Fusion target if you really want to have them to mess around with. There's always opportunities to kind of look around in the market, and you kind of got to ask yourself, is it right for me to kind of pick that up? And then I got to, I guess we got to talk about other dinosaur support here too. Uh, you know, Ultimate Conductor, Pterodon, Baby Sarasaurus. A lot of movements across these things, and you shouldn't be surprised. I mean, once again, it's amazing what, set, what was it six, seven dinosaur cards can do to an entire archetype that will cause, you know, Soul of Frostosaurus, you know, all of these cards to get pushed out of the market, and so many people are just looking around, they're like, wow, I can't believe this. No, you can believe this, because anytime. If you're not fast enough when these reveals drop, you're going to lose out on every single opportunity right now. And I just want to say, you know, I hope that you were playing. If you're planning on playing anything dinosaur related, you've been you've seen the new cards. You have an idea what's going on. If you still have your dinosaur core, maybe you want to keep it. Maybe you want to get rid of it. It's a decision you got to keep. But that is uh, that is the that is the dinosaur hype that was caused last night, and it was it's bad. It really is. We gotta talk about Purely here. So Purely has been seeing exceedingly large amounts of play in the OCG. Uh, we've seen cards getting bought out on the TCG side, and by bought out, I mean they've gone up in price. We're we're no real strangers to huge movements on this side of the market, but people are like, well, why? Well, the the big cat, the the black one that is literally unaffected. I don't remember its name, but there is literally. It's. I know it. It is unaffected. Well, it has five or more materials, which means you basically you put this huge thing on the field, and there's a detached to bounce something back. And when it does that, um, 
you basically just create this monster your opponent can't really handle and out to. And especially, you're going to have probably draw power under it too. Um, and it's a huge issue. Like when you can create a boss monster like that that your opponent can't really do anything with, that is what is turning out to be an issue here and why we've actually seen Exceed Encore here get bought out. Now, if you've, if you've been looking at the market the last couple days and you've looked at Exceed Encore and you're like, why why is Exceed Encore getting, what is going on here? Well, Robbie, you know, the Purely Cat says it's unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Well, much like Rongo Raminiad, this card still affects the materials under the card, not the cat itself. So basically, it does a full detach. We're no longer meeting those requirements. That's why you could Exceed Encore Rongo Raminiad and get the chance to do it. People are right now looking at the OCG hype around, you know, purely, and I mean, we're what, like three to four months away from this. People, if they see a trend starting to creep up here, people will take the opportunity to play it. They will go through and they'll be like, all right, so I'm gonna pick these up on an oddball chance they go up. That's why, and that's why you're seeing Exceed Encore see the love mold movements that it is right now. And then on the same category here, I also, I gotta talk about Kaijus. Um, right now, the way that the TCG is set up is you're gonna want more outs. Well, I guess you have like Lava Golem and stuff here versus Kaijus, but right now, the big thing is Kaijus are gonna be another out to the cat. Um, and I, I guess, once again, you know, futuristic staples do rotate in and out of formats. And that's an important thing. Just because Kaijus aren't seeing play right now doesn't mean that they're not going to see play in the near future. So that's a little bit of a heads up here is, you know, if you don't want to look at Exceed Encore, you can still Kaiju over the purely cat. Like, that's not a big issue at the end of the day. All right, you have the ability to do so. So if you think the Exceed Encore buyout is not something that is really good, Kaiju's out it the exact same way. It just kind of depends on, you know, your interactions and things that you're kind of setting up for that. So heads up with that. Now, there's also the Lava Golem Sphere Mode thing right now. Um, right now, we're seeing Lava Golem starting to boot up and disappear off the market. I'm not entirely too surprised about that simply because of the fact that the TCG format, you need to be able to have cards that can handle larger amounts of monsters, you know, versus the OCG where one boss monster shows up. The TCG's power scaling is much different. So that's why you're seeing movements in Lava Golem and Sphere Mode right now because they're immediate checks to what we're seeing here. And that's why I bring up, you know, Kaijus if we enter into a slower format where you can have those one for ones. Both of these, actually all three of these, all serve very different purposes and they can clean up wider ranges of monsters and a lot of people kind of seem to to misunderstand that fact that every one of these monsters serves a different level of cleanup and that's what you really need to be aware of here at the end of the day so clean up i09 for the lava golems the sphere modes and the kaiju aspect of things and then of course there's book of eclipse i i'll have a much better um analysis of this card coming out later on but we are seeing some pretty huge movements right now in Book of Eclipse. Wow, it's not like we haven't been seeing that for the last couple of months. It's almost like people are main deck in the Book of Eclipse right now to stop Kashtira because Kashtira putting up a board isn't really that threatening if everybody's face down. Who would have guessed? I love the fact that we're seeing these immediate outs right now actually, you know, getting cleaned up on, you know, this side of things. So I definitely wanted to point that out that uh, I, I'm sure many of you have already seen it as well. You really, this this one's pretty obvious in terms of, you know, value crazy. The good thing is there are budget alternatives available for Book of Eclipse. It's not like this one's going to immediately break the bank. So kind of keep an eye on that one. The higher rarities have definitely been a ride to watch though. So so many stupid things happening within the course of the game. It is so interesting. And the last one I guess we got to talk about here is Aratama. Yeah, the Spirit that searches Sakitama. Sakitama gives an additional normal summon. Seeing this in all these rank four decks right now. Um, I talked about this last week. Uh, the cards started to kind of go a little bit more crazy now. The more people have looked at OCG results and they're like, oh, hey, you know, this is actually pretty cool. You know, a splash five card spirit package in your deck basically allows you to make all of your Constellar plays live, you get to make all of your plays for Exosister live because you can search for the Martha now that you've got the spirits out of the way. And they don't special summon, they just additional normal summon, so it literally frees up everything that you want. So a lot of things, 
not a lot of time to really talk about them, but I hope that this kind of puts you in the loop. And like I said, we'll analyze this a little bit more on Market Watch. You guys have a good rest of your day. Right? Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.